Hi, I'm Gene Liu and I'm an otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon, or ear, nose, and throat doctor here in Los Angeles. And today I'm here to talk about the nasal septum. The septum is a wall that runs right down the middle of your nose and it splits the two sides. It's covered with pink lining or mucosa, covering cartilage in the front and bone in the back. When the septum isn't straight, we say that it's deviated. And it can be a little bit bent or it can be dramatically bent depending on how it got there. Sometimes the septum can be bent just in the way that the baby is sitting in the womb and if the pressure is constantly on one side, it may push things over. It can be from birth trauma as a head squeezed through the birth canal. It could be a two-year-old plowing into a plain glass window. It could be a drunken bar fight at 25. Any trauma bonking into the front of the nose can cause that septum to bend. Now, sometimes it bends to one side and that one nostril will forever be a little bit more narrow or more easily stuffed than the other. But a lot of times if you bonk it, it can actually bend and deviate to both sides and narrow both sides of the nose. The main issue that a deviated septum is going to cause is stuffiness or congestion or trouble breathing. If it's bad enough, it might contribute to something like sleep apnea. And also, if it's severe enough, it may get in the way of airflow into the sinuses and indirectly lead to some sinus issues. The part of the septum that sticks out a lot can sometimes also get overly dry and crusty, so you get a lot of boogers and also potentially a lot of bleeding as little scabs keep coming off. If the septum is causing enough issues with either stuffiness, congestion, blockage, bleeding, then we'll straighten it. Overall, a septoplasty is a pretty straightforward procedure that lasts anywhere from about 20 minutes to 2 hours depending on how much needs to be done. It does require anesthesia and surgery though because you're cracking and re-breaking and resetting cartilage and bone. The front end of the septum reaches out almost to the nose hairs here in the middle. So if the front is bent, it can make the tip of your nose a little bit off to one side or the other. When the very front of the septum is deviated, it can have a cosmetic impact and straightening it can make the nostrils appear a little bit better but also even out the openings in the front. Because the septum is really mostly inside the nose, almost all septum surgeries don't cause any swelling or puffiness or bruising on the outside that you can see. So when somebody has had septoplasty surgery, even that night you usually can't tell from the outside. When somebody is puffy and swollen on the outside, they probably also had the nasal bones cracked and reset. If somebody's having enough issues from their septum, straightening it out is pretty straightforward and easy. And once it's straightened, you're generally going to be breathing a lot better and makes a huge difference in your quality of life. But we also see plenty of deviated septums that are mild enough that they're not even really causing much problem. You don't have to straighten every tiny little bend. I hope the short summary about the nasal septum was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please leave it in the comments below.